Well, I would agree with you if. If. Because you said that the software engineer might be next door. That would make sense if the girls were talking about, it's like the suburban girls gravitate to the drug dealers because it's new, it's different. Mm -hmm. But the reality is the suburban girls gravitate to the drug dealers. The girls who grew up next door to the drug dealers gravitate to the drug dealers. So even if it's familiar to you or if it's unfamiliar, there's still an idea that it's exciting. So it must be more than just it's different and I don't know that life. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. Yeah, I wanna feel so aligned. Sublime. All right, so the first question I like to start off with is, in an alternate universe, Freaky Friday, you woke up tomorrow and you were a dude. What kind of man would you be? Walk me through your day. What kind of man would I be? Uh, I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> that's interesting. I don't know. I mean, I would say I get up shower, get myself together, make sure I take care of my skin, make sure my hair looking good, make sure I'm dressed well, and then hop in the car and go to work. I, I don't know. What kind of job are you doing? Like what, what kind of dude are you? What kind of dude am I? What kind of dude would I be? I would like to say I would be a very business, like I would love to be an entrepreneur. Like that's what I am. So as a male, I would definitely be the same. So maybe not necessarily clocking into work, but going to do whatever my prospective duties would be for my job, for my business. Um, and then just like getting up with, I guess, my boys afterward. I don't know, like get a couple drinks. <laughs> I don't know what y'all be doing. Like, I don't got a man, so I don't know. Um, what What do you think, because the the, the objective of the question is to is about empathy and being able to truly walk a mile in somebody's shoes. What would your relationship with women be like? Ooh, I would like to say that I would be the the empathetic man, like the one that actually is honest and cares about your feelings. I would want to, I would be the one that like does the sweet things. Like the things that I would want as a female, I would do that for, as a male. So like the calls, the texts, picking you up something nice, cooking you some dinner, taking you out. Like I'll be that guy, that, that guy that like is able to be honest with you. Like, but at the same time, I'm kicking with my friends. Like I ain't got time to always be booed up with you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I would just be very real, like, have fun, kick it, like, just be able to do all the things that I do or that I would want my man to do. What if, what if your woman still isn't happy? You don't spend enough time with me. You always want to be around your boys. How do you handle that? Well, I wouldn't be the person that's always around my boys either. Like, I like balance in my life, so, my time will be split between doing work, chilling with my friends, being with my family, for sure. Like, that's super important to me. Um, and then, like, spending time with you. But if that's not enough time, then let's figure it out. Like, what do I got to do? Like, what, what, how much time are you wanting? Like, what are you wanting exactly? Like, I think, is it that you want us to go out on more dates? Easy. We could do that. Like, is it that you want me to spend more time, like talking to you on the phones and you check, like, what is it that I'm not doing? And then I can kind of redirect my life. Okay. That sounds good. Thanks. So the thing is, um, a lot of men feel like the man you just described that you would be mm -hmm. in our current world in 2022 in, in the United States would not have very much luck with women. Wouldn't have much luck with women? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of men are going to say that that guy is going to be the 
simp. The what? The, the simp. Okay. He's going to be the, the nice guy who finishes last. He's going to be the guy in the friend zone. So um, how do you respond to that? Why do you think men feel that way? Um, I think that men feel that if you're like, if, well, if you're being honest and to be a good dude, just the considerate, empathetic yeah, Russell, Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, he got Sierra though. Yeah, but before that, you know what I'm saying? Do you think Russell Wilson was having success? The type of success as a future would have with women? Uh, probably not because of the type of, well, it depends on the type of woman. Like if. He's generally speaking, just numbers. Oh, well, I, I, I think he would, honestly. Russell Wilson is a, a good looking man. He's got a <laughs> great job and. He obviously can take care of life. He didn't have any kids beforehand. That's like a huge thing. Um, yeah. Now, when it comes to future, though, like future, he out here with the hoes and the strippers. And of course, like the strippers ain't trying to be with Russell Wilson and Russell ain't trying to be with no stripper. So I think it's just two different types of women. Um, so now, you're saying most women are more so strippers or do you think most women are normal? So who who would most women find more attractive is the question. I think it's a type of it depends on the type of woman. Like most, for me, most, most. for most for most women, I think most women probably would go. I don't know because Tell the truth. Down, I know. Tell the, but you got to look outside yourself. I know. I guess most women would go with a future because of the fame and the money and. They're both famous. They both have money. Yeah, but you don't know like. No, future like flashes his money. Like the flashy guy is, of course, the girl that you want, the 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 man that you want to be with, because you assume that he's gonna drape you in the Gucci and designer and give you all the money and put you in the videos and you got the cars and the Lambos and all these things. So yeah, that's way more appealing. And plus, he's more out there. Like you don't see Russell putting himself out there like that. Like Russell ain't out here in movies and you know, like he's. Russell, <laughs> like he plays football and he does his life. Um, I think most women want that. We crave that attention. Um, so you think Future would give most women are going to feel like Future would give them more attention than Russell? I think that most women would feel like they would give him that he would give women enough attention to. So that it's not about him giving them attention. It's like you being associated with someone. So I think that as a female, sometimes it's not so much like, is Future going to be home with me every night? Hell no, he ain't going to be home with me every night. He in the strip club or at the studio. Cool. But when I'm out with Future, like paparazzi, I'm going to be draped in this. I'm going to get all of this. Like it's the extra that comes with it that you may not necessarily see from Russell because like, you don't, you don't see it. Like that's not what he's putting out there. That's until Sierra came around. I didn't know that Russell had like what women he was talking to or anything like that. So I just think that it's sometimes what comes with being with that person that women are attracted to because we do crave attention and we do want to feel love and we do want to be noticed. And so I do think that if I'm with future, yeah, I'm going to be noticed because <laughs> everyone knows him. So everyone's going to know you because you're the girl that's with him. And sometimes that's all that you want is just to be known or just to be seen and just to be heard um, now, whether that's what you're going to get at home, probably not. And no one sees the at home life. And if you do, it's in the tabloids because it's usually some mess going on. <laughs> that's the why it's coming up. So let, let's go a little deeper, right? Because celebrities are a different beast. Right? Yes. <laughs> and, and, um, and it's not really a good apples to apples comparison, but the whole future and Russell Wilson thing, I think it, 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 it acts like a, they act like placeholders. So Russell Wilson represents the good guy. Future represents the bad boy, right? Yeah. So the, the next question is, 
why do you think, okay, so it's like a two-parter. Do you think most women gravitate to the bad boy? And if that's the case, why do you think that is? Yes, I definitely think, I definitely think that. I think that we as women do gravitate to the bad boy because it's that rebellious side that we all have. Like as a, as a female growing up, um, like you're just not, you're very protected. Most women are protected by their family, by their mom, by their dad. They're, someone wants to shield them and cover them and protect them and make sure that they're <clears throat> safe and to a certain extent. Obviously, like when you turn 18, like get on you so much. But normally as a female, like there's going to be parameters that are set up that kind of like block you in where me growing up seeing my friends that are guys like their parents letting them do kind of like whatever <laughs> you know like there's so much freedom I feel like so sometimes being with the one that's like the exact opposite or on the edge it's like oh this is exciting like I ain't never got to do this <laughs> you know I ain't never got to be with this kind of person and there are parts of, and there's parts within, I think everybody, especially females that like want to be wild and crazy. And like, we have all the same, like natural emotions to like rebel. And so I think it, there's this attraction to another person that has so much confidence and freedom to rebel and to be rebellious. And like, people love it, love them for it. That it's like, Ooh, I want to, I want to see what it's like, like, so what, um, because the reason I asked that question, so for instance, I, I have a 17 year old brother mm -hmm. and he's coming up and he's seeing how the world works and he's going to see that future tends to have more success. And because he's going to see that he's going to, in some way, shape or form, model his behavior more after future than Russell. And now you have more futures, right? And then on top of that, if, you know, you have a lot of single mother uh, households where they really recreate the deadbeat dad that they complain about all the time, they literally turn their son into the same dude. So, like, how do we move forward and move away from the the bad boys, just more exciting when it comes to like a black community perspective? How do we get away from that? Should we get away from that? Um, I don't know. I don't know if we necessarily need to like get away from it. I just think it doesn't need to be glamorized. I think the thing that makes it so popular is that people glamorize being the bad boy. Like who glamorizes it? Society, I think like social media does. Like yeah, I really just think a lot of social it's a lot right now. But be more not. specific, like are men glamorizing it or women glamorizing it? Are both glamorizing it? I think it's both. Happen? I mean, I definitely think it's both. Like, if you are a dude out here being future, we'll say this, getting the money, getting the women, you you got all the ice, you, you and everybody's pictures, everybody want to be you. Of course you want to be that. Like, that's like, oh, yeah, I want all the girls. I want to be up in this. I want to be in that. I want to be in the mix. I want to know this person. I want to be connected. Da, 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 da. So, yeah, let me do all this stuff. Let me go and do all that. Let me go and buy this and, you know, let me do this. But at the same time, it's the women, too, that are just like, oh, my gosh. Like, let me get in Futures pictures because if I'm in Futures pictures, then I'm going to blow up and be an Instagram baddie. So let me do everything I need to do to be an Instagram baddie. Let me get the, the lace weave, <laughs> the lashes, the nails, the tight clothes, the no clothes, the whatever it's going to take to get noticed. So I think everybody, in a sense, like, fuels it. And I think to get away from that, I don't think you'll ever get away from that because there's always going to be people that you're always going to be attracted to something that's different from you. I mean, opposites attract. Like, it's natural to, like, be attracted to something that's different because it looks intriguing and it's interesting. It's just different. Like, you're just curious. Like, curious. Do you think it's natural? I think it's natural to be curious. Okay. Okay. Um, now, where your curiosity takes you, that's on you. <laughs> what, what, do you what do you think that comes from? So, like, why, why do you think... So, the curiosity is natural. I agree with you. But why do you think... Female curiosity tends to go to uh, 
People call them the Pookies and the Ray Rays. Why do you think that is? Okay, be more specific on what you're asking. Like um, the software engineer. Mm -hmm. You've never been with a software engineer, but it's like I can kind of assume what his life is like, and that's boring. Mm -hmm. But the drug dealer, I've also never been with a drug dealer. And when I assume what his life is like, that's exciting. So why the different ideas of what different looks like and what's appealing? I think it's based off of what is shown. Like if you're, if all you see is the software engineer, nerdy behind a computer at home, lives with his mom or is with his like nerdy friends, of course you're not gonna be like, oh, I wanna be with that guy. Unless that is you, then it's great. Compared to you seeing a drug dealer that got all the money, that every time you go in out, he's buying you this and buying that or whatever female that he's with, she's all glammed up, iced out, money, like they taking trips, <laughs> you know, like that, of course, like who doesn't want to take trips and be iced out? <laughs> like, like it just like, I think it naturally is like, man, I want that. Like, I could have this at any time. Like, I need to, I work my own job and that's my life right now. Like, I want something different than what I have. And so I think it comes down to like sometimes seeing something that looks like a dream and you wanting the dream versus like the software engineer, regular, regular guy. Like, you know, I, he could be, you know, I could, that could be my neighbor kind of thing. Um, so I think sometimes that curiosity is just like, I just want something different. I want to know what it's like to be on the other side of whatever side you're on. Well, I would agree with you if. If. Because you said that the software engineer might be next door. Mm -hmm. That would make sense if the girls were talking about, it's like the suburban girls gravitate to the drug dealers because it's new, it's different. Mm -hmm. But the reality is the suburban girls gravitate to the drug dealers. The girls who grew up next door to the drug dealers gravitate to the drug dealers. So even if it's familiar to you or if it's unfamiliar, there's still an idea that it's exciting. So it must be more than just it's different and I don't know that life. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's not, not that. I think, and I wouldn't say like, the girls who grew up next to the drug dealers gravitate to the drug dealers because when you see it, it's like, uh, okay. It, again, I think a lot of it is just what you can get from it. Mm. So that's all I was saying. Like being with future is not just about being with future. It's everything else that comes with being with the future. <laughs> you know, it's like, it is the fame, it is the notoriety, it is this, it is that, it is, you know, it is the other life, it is the something new. So I think it's all the things that play into it. It's not just because I do want another life, but it's also because, like you said, like I can, if I'm with the software engineer, are you going to be flying me out to Turks and Caicos? Or are we going to be, you know, like, I don't know, maybe, but I know for sure the drug dealer who got all this cash if I want to do that, then yeah, we could do that. You know, it, um, so that's why I was saying, like, I think that a way to get away from this bad boy, like attraction necessarily, not necessarily bad boy, but this, this attraction to this rebel mentality is to not glamorize it or show what it's like if you're not a drug dealer, but you got a lot of money and you're a software engineer, let me see a software engineer that looks good, that dresses well, that goes out, that does all these things. Because to me, if I know you were a drug dealer, more than likely, like, it's not like a, oh my gosh, let me go sign up and be with that man. Like, I'm not gonna be like, that's, that's why I wanna be with you, cause you a drug dealer. Like, yes, like, no. <laughs> have, you, have you seen those videos where, um... It's like men on the street interviews, they go out into like Miami Beach or something and they stop people and they ask them questions. And like one of the ones they did, they asked them like, would you rather a nine to five dude or a drug dealer? Nine out of 10 of the women were like drug dealer because yeah. it's more exciting, because he'll spend more money on me, because, you know what I'm saying? I want to ride around with you with your gun in your lap and all that stuff. But it's not about the person. It's about what you're getting from that person. So so you, what what you're saying is most women 
And again, correct me if I'm wrong. Are you saying most women don't actually want the man? They want the, the aesthetic. When you, when, in, the, in the context of you comparing the future and the Russell, the aesthetic is it's going to weigh heavy. So I'm not going to say most women are going to go one way or the other. I don't know what most women are going to want. I just know what I want as a person, like, is not going to be with a drug dealer. No offense. Like, been there, done that, we good. Like, it ain't that glamorous kind of thing. So, like, it's just like, I don't know. I mean, I think that as a female, as a woman, that you want someone that's going to be able to provide for you, to show you attention, to show you attraction, that's going to be there for you. And sometimes you do get that feeling being with someone who has this ultra rebel mentality, the drug dealer mentality, the future life versus, and that looks appealing because that's instant. Like I can touch the money right now. I can see that right now versus being with the Russell, which in all honesty, nine times out of 10, a woman is probably going to choose a Russell over a future. Like, I mean, it, I'm not saying, and I don't know what kind of women you talk to, but as an educated black woman, being around other educated black women, they're not going for a future. I think that that segues perfectly. <laughs> I think that segues perfectly into my next question because okay. here's what you know is is I'm paying attention to the comments to what people are talking about. You're right, but. It ends up being like a Mike Jones situation. Back then, you didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. And what I mean by that is when the girls are 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 in their prime, according to society, mm -hmm. that's when they go for the drug dealer. And after they are used, abused, uh, misused by the drug dealer, then at 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, they're looking for Russell. I completely disagree. With so talk that. to them. Okay. Talk to me. I, I think that you're very stereotypical in that. I think that the 21s to 25s that you're describing are a section of people that you see on social media. Like, I really do. Like, and I'm not saying that at 21, 22, like I, I wasn't the girl that was like, I want to be with a drug dealer. Like I want to be with someone that has money is what I want. And it's the money that I want. And if the drug dealer has the money, he's going to treat me right. Then yeah, 21, I want to be with the drug dealer then. Cause he got money. But I don't, I don't think, I don't think it's the drug dealer piece that, you know, is the problem. I think it's the. I had fucked up priorities when I was younger. Now I have better priorities because I'm older and wiser. And I expect the same outcomes that were available to me at 21, 22, 23. What do you mean? Meaning that the software engineer should still want me. And now that I appreciate him, because I know it's not just about flashy, it's about 401ks. It's about what do you have in the bank account? It's about sustainability. Now that I know that, he should want me again. So why do you think men are angry about that? Well, first of all, when you look at a man who is 21, 22, 23, he's not a software engineer more than likely. And he is not a Russell Wilson. Explain. Like, I, unless you're telling me that the majority of the men between the age of 21 and 25 or a Russell Wilson that have their head on straight that actually are not trying to chase women in the club being crazy and That's foolish. not what I'm saying. No, what I'm saying is the guys who are 21, 22, 23 are future software engineers. And they're currently the boring nerd guy 
that's in the house and studying. I don't think that's it. I, no. But later on, it's it's almost like a, a butterfly cocoon situation. Later on, he's going to become a Russell Wilson. But right. because women don't prioritize that type of potential, he gets overlooked a lot of times. Well, no, I, I think that when we're comparing... Okay, so if we're comparing a 21 to 25-year-old female who we describe as going for the futures, the 20... It's, more than likely because, or the drug dealers, it's because the twenty to twenty, the twenty-one to twenty-five-year-old man at that time is the future. <laughs> like so, he is, so all twenty-one to twenty-five-year-old men are futures. I'm not saying all, just like I'm not saying all women are. I'm saying if you're talking about the majority of black men between the ages of twenty-one to twenty-five, the majority of black men between the ages of twenty-one and twenty-five are not out here trying to put their head in a book to study. They are not out here not trying true. to hold down That's not true. home. The difference is the ones that are seen are the ones who are flashy. That's the same type. That's, a, that's what I'm saying about women, too. The ones that you're describing are only the ones that are seen. So if we're going to compare apples to apples, let's talk about the flashy dudes and the out here females because they attract each other. I disagree. Yeah, I, I know. And the reason, no, no, the reason I disagree is because um, generally our culture, because, you know, obviously all I've dealt with is women. All I've dealt with is black women. Generally, our culture pushes the same aesthetic to everybody. And unfortunately, today, young women, whether they are inside the nerd or inside the bad bitch, they still accept that narrative. So what I'm saying is, even the the cheerleaders want the quarterback, but the goofy, the nerdy girls also want the quarterback because he's the quarterback, right? Right. Um, and she's not looking at the band geek. So the band geek gets overlooked by both women. So it's not as simple as saying, oh, the nerds are going to find themselves, the hot people are going to find themselves. No. Both people are overlooking the nerds, right? But then later on, when uh, the nerd glows up, because most men glow up, you know, most nerds, nerd men glow up. So do women. Um, she, wants, she wants the same outcome. What is wrong with that? <laughs> because as a society, right? As a society, we have decided that men have a certain curriculum, you know, to, to grade what type of man you are. We've also decided women have a certain curriculum to grade what type of woman you are. What happens a lot of times is we think those curriculums are the same. So what I mean by that is a man getting a master's degree makes him more attractive to women. A woman getting a master's degree, she assumes makes her more attractive to men, but it's not the case because her curriculum is different. And for men, our curriculum for women is based on youth and is based on beauty. Both those things go away over time. So that's, I think that's why men are, um, are upset about it. Because it's like, when I slid in your DMs, when you were still hot, you didn't want me, but now you got five baby daddies. And you didn't gain 200 pounds, now you won't. See, and that's, just, I think the fact that you even labeled it as that is a problem. That Talk is the me. problem. Because as an educated black female, I don't have any baby daddies. And it, who the fuck cares if I got a baby daddy or not? Because more than likely, nine times out of 10, you have two to three baby mamas. Mm -hmm. So if we're going to play that route, like, you lost, like. Who, nigga, but who are like, you talking about? I'm just saying, like you just described. You said what? Well, when I wanted you when but I was that, high. But that's future, though. Future has two or three baby moms. I'm talking about the software engineer. But the software engineer, why are you assuming that the? I, I guess it just it bothers me that the narrative is always like, well, now she got all these kids and now she unattractive and now that's when she wants that. And that's not the case. Yeah, I don't think that's the case. I don't think it's always the case that because I got five baby daddies or I got all these kids or it just didn't work, that now I want you. Like, no, I think that people grow. And I think that, 
I just, I, I just don't think that because I know a bunch of beautiful black women, including myself, who glowed out, who absolutely glowed up after whatever the hot stage was when everyone was hot at their 20s. Like now I'm in my 30s and I'm the best looking thing that I could have ever been. And I still don't have a man. You know, so, so let, let's, let's talk like, about it. let's talk about that. It's like, but no, I'm just saying, like, let me, let me finish that part. But like, I just, I don't think that it's, I don't think it's about, oh, you weren't hot then, now I want you because it didn't work out over here. I think that sometimes it's, I couldn't see you, I couldn't see that. Like, that's not what I was looking for at that time. So of course I'm going to skip past you because why I do want the quarterback. Maybe not because he is the finest thing, but because he's the quarterback. Again, it's about what comes with it you know like and I think that's the main thing is about sometimes it's for females what comes with it not necessarily all about the looks and all these things so are you when you're talking to other females especially younger females are you encouraging them to have foresight well yeah um, I mean I'm always encouraging like my little cousin she is she just turned 16 and it's like like focus on you like focus like for real like focus on you like focus on like finding out who you are as an individual not being social media like heavy like yeah social media I mean you grew up in technology so of course it's a part of you but like you don't have to be that to be everything like you don't got to be the Instagram baddie or the Facebook girl or you don't got to have the this or that like you don't have to do all those things like sometimes it's just good to just be you and figure out you before you start trying to be everything for everybody else because i also think that that's a part of this crazy whatever this is going on between men and women in the black society right now like especially in the younger generation it's like everything's so social media heavy and social media driven that you can't tell me who you are. You don't even have your own language. All you know is what that Instagram or that TikToker says. And like, that's all you want to be is like that TikToker because they have a hundred thousand views, like a hundred thousand followers. Like, but who are they? And more importantly, who are you? Like, you're not them. So who are you? And so, yeah. 